All right, so we've got a response video to bearing, or at least a kind of a bearing analysis here. Let's dive into this. It's going to be a long one. Brace yourselves, grab some popcorn, probably go take a shit before you get started, and let's go. Alright, without any further ado, strap yourselves in and let's go, because this one's going to be a doozy. Seriously, I hope you went to the washroom first, because you're going to be in your chair a while. Better yet, grab your charger, hook up the Wi-Fi, and you might want to just, you know, take a, take a seat on the porcelain throne for this one, because there's going to be a lot of shit. So the longer that I've been here on YouTube making videos, the longer I've come to despise what I see as fucking cat ownage culture. Fair enough. When done incorrectly, it gets pretty annoying. What's your point? On YouTube, it's common for people to use their platforms to try to destroy other YouTubers. Okay. And... Owning involves being uncharitable, decontextualizing arguments, being unfair, selectively editing, purposefully choosing poorly thought out arguments, and fanning the flames of a mob community who desire to feast on the humiliation of other human beings. So you mean what most SJWs and bedroom feminists do? Because I've seen plenty of ponage culture, as you've, as you've incorrectly gone with ownage culture. And, um, yeah, the, most of it doesn't decontextualize, it just takes it piece for piece. This ownage culture goes against the goals and aims of some communities, particularly the so-called skeptic atheist community. Hold your horses there, cowboy. Just because you don't like ponage culture, or the ponage concept of videos, the ponage template, if you will, that format, it doesn't mean it goes against skepticism. You can be a skeptic and use the ponage video format to get your point across. It's all about differing deliveries. In which rationality is given lip service. Instead of dialogue, conversations, and outreach, Valid debates, well-researched and evidence-based content, which are interesting and thought-provoking, and make the dialogue move forward, what we get instead is histrionics, fear-mongering, and mob-based tribalistic thinking. Remember what I said about the whole, this sounds like SJWs and feminists thing? Projection. The unconscious transfer of one's own desires or emotions to another person. We protect the self by a number of defense mechanisms, including repression and projection. This video will discuss a channel which is one of the very worst offenders on YouTube when it comes to behaving in this manner. Feminist Frequency? This YouTuber goes by the name of Bearing. You know what the best part about all this is? Is that in the rest of the video, you find out that he actually knows what he's asking for in doing this. Bearing is part of the school of thought of YouTubers that hide behind cutesy animal pictures. Some examples are a dude that hides behind a kangaroo. I'm just gonna throw it out there, but athe atheism is unstoppable isn't exactly, um, I wouldn't call him cutesy. A guy that hides behind an ape. Okay, he's kind of funny. But still, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it cute. A guy that hides behind a lion. Okay, Rory's a fucking adorable cunt. But still, I don't get your point. The, the contrast is kind of part of the... part of the impact. In Bering's case, the picture is very cartoonish and cutesy, and it conflicts with what he actually does. You mean... mall people. Be because bears tend to... tend to do that. You know, when, when they come into... come into contact with people. Which I think is extremely cruel and negative. Well, you're well within the right to that opinion. And within your rights to express it. Unfortunately, something that you fail to realize later in this video, with some horrible displays of, you know, lacking self-awareness, is that Bering has the right to express his opinion as well. Like, it's, it's not complicated. You can express that, he can express how he feels. You know, we all go home in the, the day, nobody dies from it, and it's... Sticks and stones, you know, that old chestnut. This video will explain how Bering's channel operates by looking at some of his responses to obscure and significantly smaller channels. 
translation, I've cherry-picked a bunch of examples, and now I'm going to use them to support the conclusion that I had before I even came into this issue. I'm not going to independently look at this and decide later if the evidence supports a particular conclusion. I'm just going to pick the instances that support what I already believe. Yeah, brace yourselves, people. This is going to be a fun one. What the results of those invariably were in every single instance. I have a rule about generalizations just like this one. That rule is, don't make them. Because the second you say, invariably, in every single instance, if somebody can just cherry pick one little example, it blows your statement out of the water. It's unfortunate, it is nitpicking, but it's, it's accurate. You can't claim 100% on something, and then turn around and try and still support that when somebody pops up with even one example against it. Moving on. Then I want to talk about whether Bering bears any responsibility for the way his channel is run and how it functions. Well, that's a bit of a no-brainer. Of course he bears responsibility for the way his channel is run, how it functions, at least from what he can't control, but I have a sneaking suspicion you're going to try and twist that into something else entirely. And then I finally want to wrap it up with some wider thoughts about internet bullying and harassment. So on YouTube, there's a number of channels which display an alarming level of tribalism and herd-like mob mentality in their followers. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this particular piece of media today, aren't I? Oh yeah, this one's going to get some mileage. Channels particularly rife with this kind of groupthink are Atheism is Unstoppable and Sargon of a Card. Okay, I don't know Atheism is Unstoppable from a mole on my ass, but... I know Sargon, and he promotes independent thought and critique. He's a big fan of the Socratic method, asking questions, probing for answers, trying to figure out, you know, is this logical, does this follow? He's not exactly a groupthink individual. Like, he's about the furthest thing you could get from that. You know, unless you want to say that he encourages all people to act in the same way that he does, which is to interrogate arguments rather than attack people, but that would, that doesn't sound like a bad thing to me. However, the channel with the most herd-like mob mentality I've ever seen on the entire internet is that of Bering. Well, congrats, Bering. You're finally number one on something. Bering follows an extremely simple formula. Oh, you mean this formula? Start up, cash in, sell out, bro down. Step one. Choose a small channel talking about feminism. Uh, uh, okay, so, okay, wrong formula. Carry on. Step two, make an extremely uncharitable and harsh response to said channel, chopping their argument up into tiny bits, removing context and generally being as insulting and mean-spirited as possible. I refer to this as the Sargon method. Again, you come back to Sargon, but he actually interrogates ideas. Yeah, he takes pot shots a couple times afterwards, but like, that's for comedic effect. The message there is still, interrogate the idea. If the idea is shit, then don't listen to the idea. Step 3. Insult the person in the description box directly before linking to the original video. Okay, you view the whole never go full retard meme as an insult. It's delivered for comedy. You know, when someone does something stupid. But it's, it's not really an insult per se, it's just a little bit of comedic chuckle. It's, you know, it's, it's not a dick. It's a joke. Don't take it so hard. Step 4. This is the one in which unplausible deniability is applied, wherein all of Bering's fans flood the original video with downvotes and negative hateful comments. Unless instructed not to, more on that later. I've already done a video covering this whole with great power comes great responsibility bullshit, but we've already established here that Bering has no actual power over these people. Influence is different than power. He, 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 he has some level of influence, but people still have free will. They can still make their own decisions here. It's, it is not Bering's fault if they go to some channel and harass that channel if he does not specifically say, hey, go fuck up this channel. And step five. Overwhelmed and confused by this response, the feminist apologizes to Bering in shame. Or they quit YouTube, often deleting their video. Or they struggle on unhappily and try to get through it. So people either acknowledge the mistakes they've made, 
give up because things have gotten too hard or just decide to carry on doing what they were doing anyway. The fact that those three avenues still exist, all right, proves that Bering hasn't forced them to do anything. Those are pretty much the only avenues give, you know, available at any given time. Give up, get better, or just ignore stuff and stay the same way you are. That's life. I will now look at a number of specific examples cherry-picked examples of this process in practice. Example 1. Baring made a video called Arrogant Feminist Bitch Splains Feminism. A classic in its own time. Slightly further down, he says, This one's gone full retard. Original video linked. Seriously, guys, this dude doesn't understand the comedic delivery of Never Go Full Retard. It's a meme, dude. An internet meme. Now, Bering makes a big deal of having a disclaimer which tells people not to harass people. Yes, because he doesn't want to keep getting people like you shitting on him for people acting out of their own free will. He's not like a superior officer or anything. There's no punishment for people if they don't, you know, obey him. Dude. You have to understand the idea of accountability here and that it does not exist in this example. Or really any of your examples. He said that this disclaimer is in his videos and in his description box. Viper note. I've watched plenty of Bearings videos. Actually, I think I've covered almost all of them except for live streams, which, well, sometimes I just can't be fucked to spend a couple of hours watching. He mentions very frequently the fact that he doesn't want people going over and harassing individuals, especially more and more of late. He's even had, you know, live stream discussions with uh, Marina Shut Up and others in which he keeps things extremely civil and before and after he encourages people not to harass these individuals that he's going to be hosting. He He's fairly charitable. I don't know where you're getting... I, I get, like, some of his earlier videos were... Well, they had an edge to them, but it's not illegal. Here it is. Note, it is not my intention to cause the original video publisher to receive any kind of harassment or abuse. My intention is to provide a counter-argument to claims they have made in a civil and courteous manner. I've provided a link to the original video for the purposes of verification and to allow those who wish to provide their own constructive criticism to do so. While I have no control over the feedback you choose to provide, I'd kindly ask that you avoid any forms of harassment or abuse. Thanks. Okay, so he acknowledges the potential for people to be dicks on the internet and asks them not to. And acknowledges that he has no direct power over them, just to say that, hey guys, it'd be really cool if you weren't assholes. What's your point? The thing I found a little hard to take with this use of his disclaimer is the fact that the description directly above it and the fact it says this one's gone full retard just before he links to original video were extremely uncivil and insulting. Oh my god, dude. I've already got a migraine today. I really don't need you being, you know, reaching this level of stupid. It's a meme. It's a it, Tropic Thunder. Robert Downey Jr. I'm the dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. For fuck, actually, even that guy was playing an Aussie. Maybe that's maybe that's Australian culture. What do you know? He said he's providing counter arguments in a civil and courteous manner. When literally, like, slightly above that, this one's gone full retard. Meme. Dude. This, this isn't that complicated. You, you've been on this point for fucking ever. Move off of the full retard meme and get on with your fucking video. Feminist with an overinflated sense of self-importance spews hypocrisy. She has a perfect understanding of what you think, whoever you are, while angrily insisting nobody knows how she feels but her because feminism. So could it be that your disclaimer is bullshit and it's covering your ass? Okay, so you're, you're unfamiliar with the standard function of the full retard meme and of disclaimers. Of course he put it there to cover his ass as well as you know, the rest of it. Are we going to have to like educate you on the entirety of the internet? Here's a tip. Pro tip. Step one. You don't have to type the HTTP before you put in the web address. Or have you figured that one out on your own? After Bering made this response, Biology Babe received 17,000 views 
4,955 down votes. As you can see, the down vote bar is amazing. 99% down votes. I suppose that was just a fluke, that what she was saying was so hideous, these down votes simply reflect the quality of her video. It doesn't necessarily have to indicate the quality of her video, but rather the quality of the message contained therein. If 17,000 people watch something and they disagree with it, they're going to downvote it. If 17,000 people watch a video and they happen to agree with it, they'll probably upvote it. That's just how this shit works. Again, like, Internet 101. Hell, Psychology 101. If you hear something, you agree with it, and it makes sense, you're likely to give it a thumbs up or provide affirmative support for it. If you hear something and it doesn't make sense, or it's complete bullshit, well then you're not going to support it. You've, you've got some special issues, don't you? If we look at Biology Babe's channel, we can see that she stopped making videos. And I don't even want to get into the comments, because they're pretty fucked up. YouTube comments and chat are cancer. Old news, move on. Also, please note that at the time of recording this video, Bering had 198,097 subscribers, and this tiny channel, which he totally fucked, has 290. I don't know if anyone's done this yet, but I'm thinking of just creating a small little video clip for the punching up versus punching down fallacy. Just because somebody has fewer subscribers than you, it doesn't mean that their ideas or their views are any more or less, you know, beyond reproach. People can interrogate bad ideas, they can support good ideas. If your content is, oh, I don't know, logical and well-reasoned, odds are people are going to support it. If your content is absolute talking-out-your-ass bullshit, you're not going to get that kind of support. If, if Bering pull, points at a video, all right, that has some sound points, some good reasoning, great content, and just says, hey, take a look at this video, people are going to go there, they're going to establish, okay, yeah, you know what, this is a good video. They're going to upload it. They're going to do the exact opposite if it's shit. It's, it's not that, oh, for fuck's sake, this punching up versus punching down bullshit is getting really fucking old. Can we move on from it, please? It's flawed. You know it's flawed. I know it's flawed. The cat's out of the bag. This, so there's no imbalance of power there, is there? No, there's not. Power would require effective and immediate control, and Bering has none of that except over his own agency. Same as biology, babe. So, uh, yeah, you're right. There is no imbalance of power. There's an imbalance of viewership, but viewership is not equal power. What's funny here is that you are ignoring the strength of ideas and the strength they get from being, you know, logically reasoned and, and well constructed. If her ideas, if the things she was saying were actually truthful and they had that way to them, it wouldn't matter what people said or who sent them or what the size of the channel was and blah 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 blah. Punch up versus punch down bullshit. If you have a good message, if you have a, an accurate statement there, people can't refute it. Simple as. Example 2. This one is slightly older, but he responded to a feminist online with the video SJW Chick teaches how to calculate privilege. Now, because it's a bit older, oh my god, there was no disclaimer. Okay, we're like 18 minutes in here, and I'm not going to subject people to the rest of your entire video just to sit through and, and nitpick it and, and break it down piece by piece. I'm going to go to the very end of your video, people. The link will be in the description so you can watch exactly what he said. I don't want you thinking I'm taking him out of context. I'm going to go to his summary, and we're going to work off the points he makes there. Lastly, there is a YouTuber called Kevin Logan. Okay, I lied. I've got to subject you here to Kevin Potato Head Logan. This is always fun. Or Kurt Logan. He receives a lot of hate because he's made a series called The Descent of Manosphere and is an outspoken feminist. No. He's received a lot of hate and vitriol because he's a fucking idiot. The guy's a twat waffle. Dick. He's extremely inconsiderate of other people's views. He does not debate or argue in good faith. He's an asshole. Alright, I've seen him debate or discuss with people who oppose his views, and he gives absolutely no room whatsoever to say, well, hey, maybe you are right. He never even gives that 
concept a chance. So no, Kevin Logan takes a lot of shit because he throws out a lot of shit. You get what you give on YouTube. He can take as good as he gives. A lot of people hate him and they call him like a fat potato man. Uh, but whatever, he's, he just does his own thing. <laughs> Fucking love the potato man thing. No, they, they call him a potato head. At least as far as I've seen. Because he's got about the brain capacity of a fucking potato. I just wanted to point out something that shows how dogmatic and systematic... Okay, I'm sorry, I, I had to. Bearing fans are in their group thing. So in his series, he takes on a lot of big YouTubers. He had one on Tildeer, episode 7. He received 919 downvotes. Okay, so that's mostly down. Okay, example. Tildeer's a pretty even keel, you know, level headed. I wouldn't say monotonous, but he does keep the exact same, you know, level the whole way through. It's reflected in the people who watch his videos, sure. The Amazing Atheist. He received 709 downvotes. Another large channel, this time with a little more oomph behind the uh, attitude with TJ. And with that, more downvotes. Red Pill Philosophy. 184 downvotes. Okay, not looking too good. But it's to be expected. But when it comes to bearing, his episode received 3,892 downvotes, which is the standard number of downvotes any video about bearing receives. I did a video about bearing. He tweeted about it and even had people come to my channel to look at it. I didn't agree with Baring. I disagreed with him in a polite and respectable way. Guess what? For all the views it got, hardly any downvotes. I was respectful, not a prick. Kevin Logan, however, happens to be a bit of a prick. It's always the same pattern. So now that we've seen that this occurs in every single instance, even having the same levels of downvoting... No, no, go to my video. The one that has, uh, you know, Bering versus the Atheist Gamer beating up the special kid. And, um, take a look at it. Just, just, I'll give you a second here, because in that video I disagree with Bering. I criticize how he took action against the Atheist Gamer, just, you know, the general methodology to it all. I, I had criticisms for Bering, but I voiced them politely, with some respect. And you know what? I got respectful responses. I didn't get inundated with downvotes. Wonder why that was. So yeah, every single instance, debunked. What is the point of this video? Well, allow me to explain. Please do, because you spent enough fucking time chasing your tail around an internet meme and really avoiding the point here. Come on, buddy, drive it home. I think bearing should not have support in any community which has respect for freedom of thought and expression and an open dialogue in which people can discuss ideas. I'm just going to play that back for you, because you're asking for something that's a little bit counterintuitive. Here we go. Any community which has respect for freedom of thought and expression and an open dialogue in which people can discuss ideas. Just in case you folks at home missed that, what, what kind of communities should Bering not be able to voice his opinions in? Any community which has respect for freedom of thought and expression. Oh yeah, the logic prize goes to this one. I think what he does is poison the dialogue purposefully, and he's a bully, and I don't think he has a place on YouTube, but of course, he's still going to have many fans, because a lot of people seem to enjoy seeing this cruelty take place. I'll be honest, it's not the cruelty that I enjoy. I wouldn't even call it cruelty, but I'll go by your terms here. It's not the cruelty that I enjoy, it's the succinct way in which... Bearing takes an entire video, puts up the main points of it, goes after those main points, says, okay, no, look, based on X, Y, Z, they're wrong, and then moves on. It's a easy to watch, quick little boom, 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 and you've got through a couple of videos. It's quick, it's easy, makes sense, well-structured statements. Yeah, they come with an edge, but that's just for chuckles. It's, 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 not, the, it's not that I enjoy watching people be insulted, it's that some people are just fucking morons. Like you. You know. You, the person you see in the morning every time you wake up and look in the mirror. For fuck's sake, you just really, you really don't get this, do you? In regards to Bering, I would say Bering does not deserve your respect, your sub, your views, your support, 
and most of all, your money. So this guy who wants to claim that he's a proponent of, you know, letting people speak their minds, all that shit, wants to say that everyone should just no platform bury. I'm going to do this, I'm going to bring it back again, because you just, you really, you really brought this on yourself. Dude, look at it, read it, understand it, and try and improve your life. All I'm asking for is people to be better. All I'm asking for is for people to no platform and silence somebody who has opinions and a method of conducting their discourse that I don't like. To be better human beings to each other. To be better, self-censoring, cookie-cutter little assholes. It's simple. What this person does is bullying, it's weak, and you can tell because it's systematic. Did it again. And it's targeted. He's attacking people with less popularity, less confidence, less resources, and less ability to defend themselves, less of a chance to make their voice heard. Honestly, I've, I've seen the way Baring conducts himself. If you want a chance to defend yourself, demand one. Step up to the plate, back your ideas with some goddamn proof, send him a tweet, send him a comment, say, look, I don't think you were fair to me in my video. I want a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with you, talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, you know, get our points out there, whatever. I've seen him host these discussions with people who don't agree with him. That's all you gotta do. You, you wanna have that same platform size to stand up for your, your ideas and bring forth your proof, you just ask. You, you, throw down, you throw down the gauntlet, you challenge him to it, you say, look, no, I'm willing to stand up to my, for my opinions, and I'm willing to enter your domain and prove them to you there. It takes some serious stones, you're gonna go up in front of a fairly large audience, but if you have true conviction, if you understand it, you really know that your opinions are correct and they're factually based, then what threat does that pose to you? You get a larger platform from which to express your views. And it's fucking wrong. It's even wrong when he does it to a strange anti-feminist person called the Atheist Gamer, who I don't agree with any of his views, and he himself has attacked feminists in very insulting and disgusting ways. Okay, I might I might disagree with how Bering approached it. We just have very you know, just some varied opinions of how that could have worked out. But even I acknowledge that the atheist gamer was just rooting, just begging for a confrontation for Bering. All right, he he wanted that showdown. He asked for it. So I don't get where you're coming from here. Everybody else in this fine. Every other video you quote in your video didn't directly ask Bering to you know to, to come at them with shit. The atheist gamer went right out after him. Bering made his response, said, look, this guy treated this girl like an absolute asshole. Truth, he did. And so the atheist gamer came back swinging. He asked for a confrontation, not just figuratively. He literally went out asking to go one-on-one -on -one with Bering. So, um, yeah, literally asked for this. But for Bering to get on his high horse and say, the way the atheist gamer attacks feminists is unacceptable and mean and cruel, I don't know if you watched the video, but it was nothing but ad hominem after ad hominem after ad hominem, just personal attack on and on and on. All right, he was absolutely vicious with how he went after this poor girl who had two subscribers, not even two hundred, just two. You want to talk about punching down? There you go. Barry went after somebody who was effectively punching down, and now you're gonna get mad because he gave as good as he got. He gave the atheist gamer what the atheist gamer was throwing out there. My grandfather had a great saying, actually still has a saying, what goes around comes around. If you want to throw shit out there, you do it long enough, someone's going to start throwing some shit back and you damn well earned it. He needs to just look at his own channel and see that he's in a glass house. And I think that the way that he picked on the atheist gamer was just as bad as the way he picked on feminists, no matter what I think of the atheist gamer's views. We don't tolerate bullying in many aspects of our lives. Do you want to know the proper response to verbal bullying? It's, it's pretty simple. You harden the fuck up, you get over it. I dealt with plenty of that. The verbal stuff is fine, it's when people start making threats you gotta worry about. Them. And Barry doesn't make threats. Yeah, he pokes fun at people, takes the piss out of them. But for the most part, it's all in good fun. If you're missing that, I think you're missing a certain uh, empathy thing in your head. You're not understanding how this whole, you know, backhanded comedy works. In schools, at work, in the home, why do we tolerate it so much online? Because going online in the modern age 
is akin to stepping into the literal town square and shouting out your views. If you're going to do that, people are going to shout back at you, and you have to understand that that's what's going to happen. It's that simple. Listen and try to understand other people. So people will say that this video is an appeal to emotions or fee-fees. And it is, because humans have emotions and feelings. I have emotions and feelings, so do you, no matter how much of an edgelord you are, no matter how cool you are, no matter how much you go around bagging on people in their comments section. You know what people also have? Logical, critical thinking. They have the ability to step back from emotion, or at least a little bit, and take a look at the facts. And people who have to appeal to emotion to get their point across, yeah, they, they usually can't hack it in the arena of logic and reason. And I challenge anybody who thinks that they're above this to say whether they've never been emotionally damaged by somebody's words, whether it was a family member or a friend or your peers or your colleagues. I don't think there would be anyone out there. And if ongoing systematic... Hydromatic. Oh, shut up. You knew it was coming. Abuse involving an imbalance of strength and power is occurring I don't care if it's on YouTube or anywhere else, it doesn't really have a place. You. Me. You. Me. You. Okay, me, me, I get it, I get it, I get it, me. You. Okay, shit, I get it, move on. The person watching, you have influence. You can change how you behave, not because you have to, but because it's the right thing to do. Subjectively speaking, by your own opinion. Changing shows human compassion. So you can save all of your straw men about censorship. One second, I, it's not a straw man. I'm going to pull you right back to this. I'm going to make you listen to this point of your own video. I think bearing should not have support in any community which has respect for freedom of thought and expression and an open dialogue in which people can discuss ideas. But you don't want him censored. That No, no that, would be, that would be incorrect. You, you want to make sure he has no support in anywhere that actually values freedom of thought, belief, and expression, but you don't want him censored. You just want him no platform, but not censored, because that would be horrible. Just no platform, right? And all well, and feelings having no place in human conduct, none of this impacts whether you have the ability to make a rational, conscious decision to treat others more respectfully. It won't take away any freedom you currently enjoy. You know, except for your freedom to make, you know, piss-taking, backhanded jokes. But no, 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 no infringement on your freedom at all. It will help the people around you, it will be completely uncoerced. Except that you're trying to use an appeal to emotions in order to coerce us to behave this way, but no, entirely uncoerced. And optional, and it won't make you less of a man or weak. So, save that fucking alpha beta shit. That's something all of us, including Bering, even though he's Australian, and I guess Australians suffer with that, that was a joke. So you do understand humor, but only when you want to make humorous attacks on people. Oh yeah, I can see this whole projection thing coming back now. Have the ability to do. But people online have become completely desensitized to the detrimental impacts of their behavior. And I think I've shown some of the detrimental impacts in this video. It's very obvious and clear to see. Yep, people either sack up, they give up, or they just get on with it. No big change there in the rest of human history. Now I'm just going to sit back and brace for the talking points about Bering having no influence over his fans, having no responsibility for anything they do. Those are two very different points. I did not argue he had no influence, but he has no responsibility. There, there is a difference. He has no direct power. It's possible for him to influence them, but they still have freedom of choice, and there's no punishment if they don't do what you're claiming he's trying to get them to do. Despite evidence to the contrary, which has been clearly displayed in this video. I'm looking forward to it. Good. Glad you're looking forward to it, because uh, here's at least one dose. Because you have gone around in fucking circles this entire video. You make attacking jokes and decide that, no, it's okay when you do it, it's not okay when Baron does it. Oh, it's just a matter of degree. No, it's not. You want people to stop using that kind of attacking humor. Fine. But you can't do it yourself, then. Oh, you don't want to understand memes, but you can understand all the rest of it when, you know, the potato head shit about Kevin Logan. You can understand things when they benefit you. But the second that it, you know, it goes against what you want to believe and what you want to sell and the snake oil you want to peddle, oh, then it's bad. I'm not throwing projection up here again. I, I've beaten the hell out of that dead horse. But, um, yeah. 
Look in a fucking mirror for five minutes. All right, we're at like 42 minutes at this point, and I am exhausted. I can only take so much cringe and just unself-aware idiocy in one video. But um, here's my message to you. I'm going to put it as succinctly as possible. If you want truly open exchange of thoughts and ideas and opinions, you have to deal with all forms of, re of, of discourse, whether you like them or not. The internet is the public square. It is the new town square. And if you want to get up on your soapbox and shout to the high heavens exactly what it is that you believe and, and why you believe it, you'd better be damned ready for somebody else to come up and confront you. And they don't have to be polite. They don't have to be nice. They don't have to respect your feelings. They're going to come at you with some facts and things that disprove what it is that you believe. And you know what? If you think you're right, you should be able to bring out the proof to stand by it. If you want to quit, that's your choice. Me? If someone argues with me about something, they want to debate it, fine. I usually don't get involved unless I know what I'm talking about. And in doing so, I insulate myself from a pretty good deal of this whole, oh my god, I feel so horrible, I gotta just quit YouTube. But you don't seem to get it. A lot of people bring up these bullshit claims, they don't want to back them up, and then they think that no one can challenge them. Oh, because I'm just a small YouTuber, I don't have a big channel, you can't punch down at me. Fuck that. You know what happens when ideas are sheltered and allowed to just spread their bad ideas? Yeah, bad things happen. More people believe them. It's called nipping it in the bud. You know what? Think about it this way. If somebody with really good ideas criticizes Bering and he responds to them, guess what's going to happen? If they're truly good ideas, more of those people who watch that video are going to go, oh, wait, that, that makes sense. If, if you criticize someone's ideas, not who they are, you can take pot shots to that, fine, you know, a little bit of humor here and there. If you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at anybody. But if you're going to sit there and you're going to go, oh, no, 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 you can't attack them at all, fuck that. That is censorship. Saying, no, you can't say that. That's censorship. Don't give me this government shit. I know you haven't said it, but it's probably waiting in the wings. Oh, it's only censorship if the government doesn't know. If you tell somebody you can't say that, that's censorship. You can't do that. You can't say your views in that way. That's censorship. Get over yourself. Get off your high horse. You're better than this. You think people are really better than all that? Fine. Apply the same standard to yourself. Show up with some facts. Oh, but this is an appeal to emotion. Fine. Fuck your appeal to emotion. I don't care. I really don't care that you want to try and appeal to everyone's fifis on this one and go, oh, well, you should feel bad because Barry was a meanie poo-poo head. No, fuck you. Fuck you until you come back with some goddamn statistics. You know what? It wouldn't be so easy to sit here and just tear into people if they came up with some actual well-grounded stats and, and proof of what their views were. But you want to sit here, throw it to emotion, and just hope that people just clench their assholes and just take it. You know, pinch your nose and swallow a good dose of this bullshit emotional appeal. And ignore the facts that completely go against what it is you're trying to sell. That's been all for this episode of Viper Unscripted. We're at like 45 minutes. Thank God I cut out half the middle point of this video. Seriously though, go watch it. It's, it's a hell of a watch start to finish. But then you tell me if I've taken anything of this out of context, decontextualized, broken it down into little tiny pieces. Go ahead. Try me. Well, we've come to the end of another video, one made possible by patrons and viewers like you. If you've enjoyed this or any of my other videos, consider supporting me on Patreon. Rewards start with monthly contributions as low as $1, with plenty of options to choose from as you go up the contribution tiers. Want to blow shit up with me in a patrons-only World of Tanks platoon? There's a reward for that. Want to be the first to see my latest series videos and get exclusive access to patron-only video series? There's a reward for that too. Feel like shooting the shit about recent events in a patrons-only Google Hangout? There's a reward for that. There's even a reward that lets you dictate the topic for a new JT Viper video. So be sure to check me out at www.patreon.com slash jtviper or just click on the Patreon logo up here in the video. Go ahead, I'll give you a second. Are, are you clicking yet? No? One more second? Well, fine, I'll get you next time. If you can't afford to support me financially, and of course, even if you can, 
please be sure to leave a comment, a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more of your favorite Canadian reptile. Have a good one, everybody. And again, thank you for watching.